Okay, so here we got a Garand. This is a M1, but it is a US T26, uh, the mythical unicorn of the tanker. Okay, this gun uh, is a short version of the Garand. It was made, uh, in theory, it was made to fight in the Pacific with a shorter uh, style M1. It is eight inches shorter than a standard M1 as you can see here and uh, it was this is, it was basically a prototype they were looking for something shorter that they could manage better on the islands and it never saw full production the war ended and the trials never were created as far as I'm aware uh, with the knowledge that I've been able to dig up there is no known models from the 40s uh, and the 50, 1950, 1955 um, the uh, was dismounted for, for spare parts you know, all over the world. And around the 1960s and 70s, Springfield um, rebuilt them for the collector's market named the Tanker. Now, there is a lot of information, misinformation uh, online about the Tanker never existed and so on and so forth. One of the things that did occur was Arsenal did take them, did put them together, and create the tanker for the 1980s collector market. And one of the things you want to notice is right in here, they would take, and when they were to buy these rifles, not buy these rifles, I'm sorry, when the military took those rifles in and they took them apart, they cut the receiver right down there, a straight line. Well, then they were supposedly not able to be used again, and in the process of not being able to be used again, they were bought and rewelded, and you can see that weld on an arsenal version and a, sometimes in other other companies that were to put them together you could tell that it had been welded right down here okay so that weld would be right right in that area right there and this one does not have that uh, weld and so that is one of the issues that you'll find other than the misinformation of whether or not there were ever any really existed. None existed during the war, other than if there was a prototype and whether or not it was destroyed, I don't know. Uh, but otherwise, it is exact replica. Everything is the same. Uh, many of you are more qualified M1 guys than I am, but it works. It shoots. Unbelievable. Um, I absolutely love shooting this gun, although I haven't shot it for a very long time due to um, its collector value because it does have collector value to someone that wants to have an M1 and wants to have an M1 that is somewhat unique. Uh, it is a Springfield. I'm not sure you can see that here. Uh, U.S. Springfield Armory. Uh, everything is, uh, is, is beautiful and it shoots wonderfully. So some of the, um, some of the uh, websites and forums say they don't exist. Sometimes there's a pictures of them. Here you go with an M1. Garand Tanker, better known as the T26 prototype. This is what I believe to be the Springfield model. And uh, as a Springfield model, it was made in the uh, 60s and 70s. And there were only a few thousand made, apparently, for the collector market. Arsenal did make them again in the 80s. And many of them, as I said, have the weld and the cut receiver here. Uh, otherwise, that's an M1 Garand Tanker. Thank you. Enjoy. Don't forget to like, subscribe. I'm Chamber Break on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Forward forever. Backward never.